What is up, fam? Welcome back to Liz Lee's Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac sign. Sorry, y'all. I had to cut it into part two. I had my pop-pop come up here <clears throat> and uh, had to handle some stuff. But anyway, I was clarifying the control card. So with the fake apology, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. So yeah, Cloud Hungry says anything, does anything, make it up and dramatic. So somebody could be like very dramatic, says a lot of stuff, you know, um, over the top type of energy, wants you back. This could be somebody that wants to be back in your energy, or this could be you. You want to be back in somebody's energy, but somebody could be, like, doing the most, okay? Um, <clears throat> or making something, making more out of something, or something like that is what I'm getting. Bad reputation. This could be somebody that has a bad reputation or has ruined their reputation with you or tried to ruin your reputation, whichever. What's the control card? What's that control card about for Scorpio? Running. Yes. You you could either be running away from this person or these people always partying. Because you feel like somebody, like, this is giving me, like, somebody who's not taking something serious. Or you just don't take something or someone serious. Like, you just, you, you're not taking this person or the situation serious. You're just kind of like, whatever. Okay, I'm, I'm getting away from this. I'm getting the hell away. Because you feel like somebody does things for clout. Like, this is... Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups. It's like it burdens you to even deal with this person. So you're just kind of releasing it. Because it's like holding on to it or trying to like keep juggling it or keep trying to work with it. It doesn't do anything but burden you. Okay. So yeah, it looks like you're running. Yeah, groupie, always partying. Again, it's giving me that energy of like if you're pregnant, it's like people... Wanting to touch your baby or your belly. Like, oh my God, you're so pregnant. Oh my God, you just look so exhausted. I'm so sorry. You just look so tired. And it's like, it's like, you know, they have good intent or when it comes to that. But you're just like, honey, I'm tired. I'm just ready to, to have the baby by now. Okay. Others of you, if this is like a relationship, it's like, it's like people just, Wanting to be around you just because it's you or just because they can say, oh, yeah, I hung with, you know, Scorpio today or, oh, I, um, me and Scorpio hung out or something like that. It, somebody's doing something for clout here or doing something. It's, and it's like, you know, again, the high priestess, you know that something just ain't adding up or like something just isn't good for you. It's, I don't know. Let me. Let's pull one of these. Let's pull one of this is the naughty oracle. So let's see. Give me one on this control card. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> hippie, hippie higher self. Raise your vibration. So some of y'all, y'all are trying to like, you're raising your vibration or you're trying to get out of this negative mindset or something like that. Like maybe you're thinking negatively about things and you're just like, oh my God, like I just. I want to love on myself. I just want to be, you know, I just need to pour into me, okay? Because maybe you've been pouring into situations or people, you know, that's just been toxic. And so, like, it's, you felt burdens or you felt burdensome in a situation. We got, yeah, angel anarchy. Move away from control. Some of y'all, either this has been somebody controlling you or, like, you wanted control of a situation. You just realized that that ain't it. That's not the way to go. Like, if this is, like, somebody trying to control you and somebody's apologizing, like, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have did that or something, you're just looking at them like, it's, it, I feel like you're saying, okay, it's cool, I'm good, you know, but, you know, you still got that one eye open. <laughs> if this is you, you're, like, controlling yourself, although you want to, like, spaz out, <laughs> you're not doing it. <laughs> you're choosing to, like, love on yourself. Black holes suck. Don't let darkness hold you back. Some of y'all, there could be like fear, anxiety, depression going on here. Maybe somebody wants to keep you in this energy, like this down energy. And it's like, you're not doing it or you feel like it's taking over and you're just not doing it. It's like, even if this person came back and apologized for what they did to me, would it even be authentic? No. Because they want to be in control or they want to control the situation, you know? 
no drama llama and find your inner peace. So you could be needing to just find your peace or find your inner peace with a situation. Watch your head, baby. You may need to just find your inner peace with the situation and just kind of move on from it. Maybe you want somebody back or somebody wants you. I don't know. But you need to raise your vibration. Get out that funk. Your soul has fucked off. Retrieve it. Okay. Maybe, maybe you let your, you know, your... Maybe somebody kind of let their soul run away from them or maybe you did some bad stuff and you like, okay, I need to chill. It could be you. Or somebody did, somebody did some sort of controlling type of thing and somebody's releasing it. Like, okay, I can't, I can't, somebody was being toxic and somebody's like, okay, let me let that go. Let me, let me let that go. Maybe you were about to get in something toxic. I don't know. You know how Scorpios can get. We can get a little toxic too sometimes. Maybe you was about to get into something toxic. You're like, okay, yo, I need to chill. <laughs> I need to chill. Because even if I do apologize, I ain't going to mean it. Or this person, you've seen this person trying to control something or trying to be like toxic with you and you just kind of moved on. You play it. <laughs> you just kind of, you're backing away. Like, okay, let me back up. Let me back away from this person or something like that. Uh-uh, don't write on that. Let me see. What's the triangle about? Some look toxic here. What's the triangle for Scorpio? What's the triangle about for Scorpio? Tantric sex, astral projection and sex. So somebody just wanted to have sex with somebody? Recording, announcement, expression, and revealing. Standing your ground, ready for battle, defending yourself, investigating, fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours, love is a battlefield. So there could be a situation where there's choices, where somebody has choices in love. Somebody could be like astral projecting to you, trying to like, I'm getting like come to me spells and stuff. What's triangle? What's the triangle? Hmm. Be careful. They both look the same. Salt or sugar looks can be deceiving bottom of the deck expired issues old news discarded outdated anger management i'm saying schedule b somebody let me tell you something somebody could have an anger problem here and like somebody did i mean this could be you scorpio you could have an anger problem where you could really do something really effed up and like even you could be like yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to but really you're not sorry it's like now you play with me type of energy but you're moving away from that. You're like, nope, don't let the darkness, don't let the darkness take over. Don't let the dark. <laughs> like you about to bring that stinger out on somebody or something. But you're like, go do something. Go do something else. Okay, go do something else. If this is somebody else trying to do this to you, y'all bet your best bet is to go find something else to do. Okay, because it's just, it's not what you're not going nowhere. I got you. You're not going to fall. Because some just ain't. Some ain't right. Somebody could be trying to put somebody in another third. Here, we'll get down there. Somebody could be trying to put somebody in a third party situation or something. Or. Pepe, hey, hey, come on now. That's nasty. What's the triangle? The hierophant. Yeah, somebody. The hermit. There's a lesson being learned here. What's the triangle card? Or there's a lesson that needs to be learned or something to do with uh, commitment. The magician. Child. Four of wands. Somebody could be trying to manifest something here. A relationship. Uh, some sort of stability. Seven of swords. But they doing it. Seven of swords and death. Somebody doing it in a sneaky, conniving way with the seven of swords and death. And baby. Or somebody's trying to like lie. Or be manipulative, like somebody could be married and then trying to manipulate another person on the side. Or somebody could be in a higher level commitment with somebody and then trying to manipulate somebody on the side, like have sex or something like that. But you might not want to do this. Look like it's coming to an end. The tower, baby, it's gone. Seven of Swords, Death and the Tower. 
some stuff. Listen. <laughs> this looks like a whole eruption. Like, not that kind, but like a disaster. If somebody don't end something or put something to an end. Or when somebody tries to end something because somebody was trying to manipulate something here. The higher up, the most high, something like that. Somebody about to step in, baby, or... The king of swords, somebody about to speak some sort of truth or say something. Somebody about to get cold on somebody. Child, I don't know. This ain't looking good. I don't know what this is. What's triangle? Cause now somebody's going to be stuck in their head. Somebody could go to jail. Incarcerated, locked up, about to be always in and out. Somebody could be real inconsistent here with somebody. What's triangle? Call the case. Listen. <laughs> Case sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, and etc. Looking you up, researching you, studying you, getting info. Somebody could find out somebody got an STD. That could be what the explosion is. Like somebody trying to be sneaky, you know, lying on the side, whatever, whatever, and go behind the other person back to like cheat with somebody or something like that, thinking, oh my God, you know, it's going to be sweet. <laughs> okay, and then. F around and find out, you get the burning and itching and stuff. That's for some of you. That ain't for everybody. Somebody may end up with an STD. Because somebody been trying to be manipulative here or use their magic. Trying to have sex with somebody. Because somebody, somebody wants sex. That's what it looks like. Somebody just wants sex. They want to have their options open. They want to F off, whatever. Somebody's stuck in their head about this. What's triangle for Scorpio? What's the wasting time in reverse? Yeah, it's... So somebody somebody may speak up and be like, I'm not trying to waste your time. Yeah, hurt ego. Ego getting in the way of relationship and etc. So somebody's ego could be hurt, bankrupt, boss daddy. Somebody could be being left out in the cold with bankrupt and boss daddy here. What is this? I don't... Spirit, what's going on here? What is this triangle about? What's the triangle for Scorpio? Rejected. Because somebody feels rejected. Somebody's rejecting a third-party situation. Because somebody, yeah, happily single. Doing you, dating, stress-free, setting goals, career focus. Somebody would rather be single because somebody doesn't want this inconsistency. Somebody, somebody wants a higher-level commitment. Somebody could be trying to manifest a higher-level commitment. But it's like one person just wants to have sex or something. Like, but it's it's somebody not. It's like you're not gonna waste my time. Somebody could be rejecting somebody because somebody's flighty. They're flaky. They're flighty. They could be very aloof or aloof, not aloof, aloof. And now somebody's trapped in their head. Somebody could also find out something about an STD or somebody's thinking like, well. You know who they sleeping with you know who else they messing with or somebody knows somebody's not gonna keep staying stuck or somebody can't keep somebody stuck anymore that's what it looked like they know that somebody's rejecting this flaky in and out inconsistent type of energy somebody knows like karmic ties turning your back yeah you this could be you love child y'all can have a child with this person trap and it's like they thought they was gonna keep you trapped because y'all had kids together but Uh, maybe y'all supposed to have children together I don't know this person could be getting readings on you but you could be choosing to be single maybe you're choosing to be single and have your options open because you realize this person here they just trying to keep you stuck in your head or they just trying to but see the hierophant with the magician this is like kind of like higher ups stepping in like the universe stepping in especially the tower that's divine intervention but this is also with the Hierophant and the Magician. You could be trying to manifest a higher level of commitment. And somebody's stuck in their head about that because they trying to sleep around or do whatever. And you realize this person's a time waster. And they realize, oh, okay, I don't have any more time. I'm out of time here. What's triangle? Pissed as a parrot. Use your own voice. Okay. Hippie. Hippie higher self. Raise your vibration. So somebody could be pissed off. 
you could you could actually say something to somebody. Like somebody could be pissing you off and you actually say something. Like you say what you what you need to. What's a triangle? Today's lesson is murdered mantra. Earth school lesson sucks. So yeah, somebody getting taught a, 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 a lesson here. So this is happening physically because it says earth school lesson. Dragon load of dense shit. Time for an energy clearing. Yeah. <laughs> Told y'all these cards is crazy. This is the naughty oracle. This is this one. <laughs> Off of Timo. Love and light, motherfuckers. Just this. <laughs> so I'm telling you, somebody about to have a tired moment. Energy vampire, cut your energetic cords now. Some of y'all about to either cut a person off. I don't know if y'all just have sex with this person or this person just want to have sex. They keep wasting your time. It's like you ain't got no more time. Some of y'all are clearing out your energy or you're about to, or this is what spirit is telling you to do. If you want a higher level commitment, you're going to have to clear out your energy with somebody that just pretending, but they're inconsistent. They're, they're very detached. Give me those. How did you even get those? One second, y'all. Yes, you do. Okay. So yeah, some of y'all been dealing with like an energy vampire as well, or that's what you're realizing, that somebody just wants SEX, they don't want nothing else. Yeah, some of y'all learned like a lesson, like a real hard lesson, and you need to clear your energy here. What's, uh, some of y'all could be focusing on work now because your love life is like, you know, we got options coming in. Some of y'all are going to have options. You're going to be able to choose, like, and then you're going to be able to see, like, what you're going to be able to see that a person only wants one thing, or they just only the only reason why they come around is for SEX. You know what I'm saying? They try to they try to cover it up like it's more than what it is, but it's not. I see you rejecting people that that's like very inconsistent with you, or a person that's very inconsistent with you that don't want nothing. And this is what your this is what spirit needs too for you to do. It's like they're trying to make sure you learned your lesson so that you can have the higher level commitment that you want or you so desire. And whoever this is that's stuck in their head about sleeping around or who they sleeping with, or if this is you, if you're worried about who somebody's sleeping with, you got to get out of that and just realize this person was a waste of time. Yeah. What's the work part? What's that about? Schedule, busy, time management. Some of y'all are going to have like a really busy schedule this week or coming up here soon. Like you're going to be doing a lot. You're going to have like a lot of plates in the air knowing they effed up. Um, somebody feels like they messed up with you too. Or that's how they're going to be feeling because you're going to be pouring into your, into your work. Make sure you work on like your time management. If you need to be somewhere, make sure you leave a little early because things can get delayed for you. Um, y'all could have extra work happening for you. Try not to stress yourself out as well. There's somebody, they, they feel like they know they messed up. What's that? Is that my face? Yes, it is. I will get to that in a minute. What's the work card for Scorpio? We have Jim in reverse. Yeah, somebody's not, somebody don't want to cheat or somebody don't want to be in a third party or somebody don't want to be the side person No more pregnancy test. Unsure pregnancy scare, positive but negative and toxic. I don't know if somebody found out that somebody was pregnant or there was like a false start here or it's like the unknown. Like, are we doing this or are we not? Are we starting this or are we not? Are we going to have a kid or are we not? It's like the unknown. It's over. Like, is this going to turn into a relationship? Is this person cheating? Are they not? Did they really get that person pregnant? I feel like y'all not going to be worried about that no more because you're going to be so busy with work and career and business. Even if you are crushing on this person or this person crushing on you, crush over it, tired of drama. I feel like whatever, again, the burden was, whatever the drama was with this crush, or if you were crushing on this person, like this person just wanted to control the situation, like you would keep trying, you would keep doing, you would, and it, like, and it's like, somebody just, there's somebody that's very like, and Scorpios can be controlling, but I don't think this is you, Scorpio. I feel like whoever this person is, they want to control everything. And you feel so burdened because it's like you're constantly trying to do, 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 give, 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 
or show up and do this and do that, that you're missing out on loving on yourself. So like you're constantly pouring your cup because you have like an uh, endless flow. But you're realizing like this person, they don't stick to their promises. They don't stick to their commitments. They just say or do whatever just to get you drawn back in. And it's a control thing. And now you're realizing like, or now you're going to be realizing that you want to just focus on your work. Even if you are crushing on, on this person, or you think this person's attractive or whatever, you feel like it's just it's too much work. You don't want to deal with it. Especially if they out here trying to put you as a third party or they cheating. Because in the upright says gym, meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, doing more than working out. Or if you feel like you don't know what's going on with this person or why this person is doing that, doing, I don't see you focusing on that. I see you focusing more on work. Like, you know what? Instead of me being stuck in my mind about why this person wasting my time or why this person doing this, I'm going to focus on what can make me some money. So what's work or I got this that I need to finish or schoolwork, you know. What's work for Scorpio? What's the work card for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Five of Cups. What about the work card? Yeah, this is like <clears throat> focusing on the spill cups, missed opportunities, but regret type of energy. What's work? And the three of swords. Like, you could choose to be in the sadness, four swords, and try to heal. But I feel like whatever you do for work, that's what your healing is going to be. Like, you're going to pour your healing into work. Like, keeping yourself busy or keeping yourself, keeping your schedule full. You know, of course, make sure you're healing and stuff like that. But um, I feel like you're, you're not going to give this any more time, any more energy, any more time. What's work? Child services. There could be something going on with children. Maybe you have children with this person. Um, what's the work card? What's the work card played out? What's the work card for Scorpio? What is the work card for Scorpio? And cock blocking. Yeah. Bankrupt. Somebody could try to like block finances from you and the kid. You and a kid. If you have kids with this person, this person may try to like block money. From you, oh my god. Some of y'all, it's like y'all have the five of cups and three of cups. Y'all have suffered like a lot when it comes to like three of sources give me like third party situations that you've had to heal from, like cheating, lying, being deceptive, um, people putting you in third party situations. It's like it's a lot of sadness there, but spirit does not want you to focus on that. Some people could even like try to get in between you and your kids with the child services or like report something. But it's like played out or like somebody tries to use a kid, you know, I'm going to whoop his tail. Why is he? No, it does not. How sad with no jacket or shoes on. One second. Okay. Well, somebody could be like trying to use kids or like this would be like a person that's like, oh, well, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to neglect the kid. I'm not going to come pick the kid up or something like that. And it's like, you, honey, that's, you got other stuff you worried about. Somebody keep using kids to like try to block you or block an opportunity. It's like they they won't give to the kid or they won't take care of the kid or they won't come pick the kid up or something like that with bankrupt. It's like, or they just very neglectful. Like this person could be very neglectful or some. Hmm. This could be somebody like trying to talk about your parenting and stuff like that, but I just don't see you. Child. I don't see you. Worried about this foolery? What's the work card? Give me a little more on that one. Clarify the work card. Jezebel. Somebody could, yeah, somebody could try to be like you a hoe and stuff left you hanging. The reason why I left this person hanging because they a hoe and this and that and da 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 da. Somebody gonna try to like tarnish your name, no closure, no contact left on red. Or you're finding this out about somebody. Somebody, you could be realizing that somebody's just a hoe, you know? I love you, but you could too late. Or this is how somebody treated you, Scorpio. Somebody could have treated you like you was just a hoe or you was just a a, a sleep around or something like that. And you look, I love you at the bottom of the deck. Under pressure, karmic lesson. But you learned your lesson with this side hustle. And you I'm telling y'all, some of y'all focus on the bag. You're not really worried about this anymore. You just like whatever the stress was about this, where somebody was treating you like you weren't shit. Or somebody was making you sad or making you, you know, maybe there was regrets, there was sadness, there was, 
you know, all kind of stuff. One second. Something just played out. You feel like something's played out, Scorpio, is what you see. What, what's work? What's the work card? Devil and drag identity crisis. Somebody could be, I don't know if this is you or what. Boogeyman bullshit. Release your fears. What's work? What's the work card about for Scorpio? What's the work card about for Scorpio? Somebody could be having an identity crisis. What's the work card for Scorpio? Fucked above, fuck below, fuck within, center yourself. You, yeah, you could be just centering yourself. Maybe this is you, sinister sisters, find your soul tribe. Yeah, it's like, maybe you were just around the wrong tribe of people, you know? You could have just been around the wrong tribe of people. Some of y'all need to center yourself. Like, you could be, there's a per. it's like somebody wanted you to be like this, this slut or this third party or this sleep around or this Jezebel energy or something like that. Like, somebody wanted you to be this type of person or maybe you have regrets on doing this if you did this right or something. And something that's just played out is like somebody... Somebody is over this. I don't know if this is you or them or what. What's what's the work card for Scorpio? My eyes are up here, mister. Stop getting distracted. Yeah, it's like people could be like trying to make you out to be like this Jezebel or make, make you out to only feel like you're only worth sleeping with or something. What the fuck? Shitty shield. Time for stronger protection. Y'all need to protect yourself. You got a lot of energies coming towards you that's trying to treat you like a Jezebel, like non-committal they i don't know if they're trying to treat you like you're not worth committing to or that's how they treated you or something like that it's like i'm 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 more than that be careful of like somebody in the workplace trying to like sexualize you i don't like this energy Maybe you went through a period or something like that where you were in this this devil this devil you know sleep around energy. I don't know. And you you don't even the crazy thing is you don't have to be that type of person. You could be celibate. Like I was celibate for a long time, and people swore up and down that I was fucking here and there, and I hadn't had sex in a long like years. But somebody wanted to make it out like I was a, a hoe, but it was because of the way I carried myself. Because I'm confident. Because I'm beautiful. You know, the way I look. You know, yeah, honey, I think I'm beautiful. I don't care this way or that way. All right. <laughs> because of the way I look or because, you know. And some people just like to stick labels on you. Like some people be like, oh, well, you have like it'll be like the baby mom, baby dad thing. Like, oh, you got two different baby daddies. You a hoe. You this, you that. Right. But really life happened. I was married. I had two kids with my husband. Me and him separated. He didn't want to be in a marriage no more, so he separated. He left, so I moved on with my life, and I just so happened got pregnant by the other person that I was with that I thought was my boyfriend, you know, that I thought we were going to um, be together eventually or whatever, you know, but it didn't happen that way. He chose to stay with his baby mama or be with his baby mama, and so I let that happen, and I just moved on. Now, from the outside looking in, it's like, oh, you are... You have two baby daddies, da 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 this. You a hoe, da da da. You can't even keep a man. But really, in reality, I just chose the wrong people. You know, I just chose the wrong people. I married the person I thought loved me and I loved them, but that wasn't true. That that person outgrew it or that person didn't really love me like that, you know, and that's okay. It took a long time to get over it, but I got over it. And then the second person I had a kid by, you know, which would be my last. No, it's my last. She's my blessing. It wasn't intentional. We didn't, I didn't try to have the baby. It just happened, you know, and... Stuff didn't work out. You know, this person chose to stick with what he already knew, his other baby mom. And so I left it like that. And I got, I got baby dragged, honey. I I got dragged. I was told I was a whole of this, the that, the did of that, like the worst of the worst. While that person kind of gets to stand in like a glory moment, you know, like, oh, well, you, she did that to you or she trapped you with a kid and that, all kind of stuff, honey. 
So, I don't know, maybe somebody did y'all like that or like overly sexualized you or something like that. And you're not even like that. But people assume stuff. And it's just like, it's getting played out. Like somebody could try to be like, you don't take care of your kids. You don't do this. You don't do that. Because a lot of people did that to me. Oh, she don't take care of her kids. She don't do this. She don't do that. For a long time, I was the only one taking care of my children. Like, you know, child, no child support, no help, no nothing. Like I was the only one taking care of my kids, busting my ass. You know what I'm saying? And then finally, it took me to go through to finally get the divorce finalized. To finally get into, you know, get a lawyer that costs even more money to get that process going. And then the other child, you know, yeah. Snow, you know, I, I majority of the time she's with me. So, I mean, that should say a lot. But anyway, people will talk. People will talk. People will say what they need to say. It just looks like somebody's trying to overset. Be careful at work. Like, be careful at work because somebody could be trying to over-sexualize you at work. Like, uh, and but it looks like you're a great employee or at school. This could be at school. So. Okay. You trying to get up here? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you're getting heavy, girl. There you go. All right. Well, Scorpio. As far as this reading, this is what I have for you. I'm going to upload this one. This is what I have for you. And then I'm going to do another one and see what other messages I can pull out because. Pull out. Child. <laughs> see what other messages I can get to come out for your reading for your next reading but this is what i have for you thank y'all so much for watching catch you on the next video bye y'all